morning guys um, we are back at lower goose lake about five miles below uh, potholes before we get started today let me um, let me give you a recap on how the WKBF opener work went and what it's about so we won't you won't be seeing the videos of the WKBF opener for two reasons uh, mostly because I had camera issues on both days well not both days but on practice day and fishing day on a practice day about halfway through the day my back camera the the lock and load yak attack mount was loose and it took a plunge in the water so to save that camera I turned it off took the battery out of it and got it dried Obviously, you can see it's working because I'm talking to you. And on fishing day, I didn't format the other camera, the SD card on that one, and it overloaded about an hour or two into the tournament. So, a recap on how those went. Practice day it was a beautiful day out. Sun was shining, slight breeze. Just could not, couldn't get a pattern on the fish, could not get a bite, didn't catch anything. And we were there from six in the morning maybe seven in the morning till about five at night and the on so on fishing day it was me and my teammate it was the same story for both of us uh, he caught one probably 10 o'clock ish that was a half an inch below our legal keep size or measure size and then about 12, 15, 15 minutes before last cast, I caught a 13 inch cutthroat trout, which obviously that doesn't count. Um, but how the WKBF season opener works is the more veteran anglers get paired with a newer angler. And it's a pretty much a big meet, meet and greet. To every, so everybody gets to meet everybody, you know, make connections, make friends, talk fishing, go fishing, you know, just kind of hang out, uh, show the new new anglers how that are getting into tournament fishing how the tournaments work how you uh you know how just how the flow of things go how first cast goes last cast all that stuff deductions you know helping them avoid mistakes and obviously me and my teammate didn't have much to worry about having not catch anything but we weren't the only ones um it was a rough day on the water for a lot of people uh, most of the anglers didn't get their first fish until 12 o'clock, 12.15. Just, that's just when warm, the water warmed up enough. The fish moved from deeper water to started making their move shallow. So they were in the right spot at the right times and got their fish. Unfortunately for me and my partner, we weren't in the right spot at the right time. So, Nonetheless, it was a fun trip. It's always good to go on the west side of the state. It's a beautiful drive. It's a good time. Can definitely do without the traffic on the Seattle going through Seattle getting home but other than that you know you, you guys aren't going to be missing much from that one so we are back here at Lower Goose hopefully our luck changes today it's got to change we are still in the uh, WKBF online challenge which is bucket mouth so we don't have any fish on the board for that tournament yet. I have eight days of fishing that I'm able to do. It is the 22nd today. 20th? 19th. It's the 19th today. Tournament ends on the 31st. I have eight days to get a fish on the board. So our goal today is to hit five and then headhunt just like any other day. So without further ado, we will get on the water. Catch you on the water, guys.
There we go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Oh no. Well, she won't count for the bucket mouth, but she'll count for the season season long. She'll count for the pity pity. bit until this passes through so I'll catch you guys later
another big smallmouth. Look at that beauty. On the gillies. There we go. All right. I need three for the. I need. Need them for the fifty-fifty anyway. So.
good one. That's a damn good one. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe I got that one on video.